Tonight, the story of a father daughter doctor duo. That's them pre pandemic who are speaking openly to everyone, especially minority groups about the COVID-19 vaccine. Also, others will follow their lead. In this video, you see hospitalist and frontliner Jamel Bowers getting the COVID-19 vaccine. She was the first for Mercy Health Cincinnati. Her dad, a retired OBGYN who still works in the Christ Hospital system, also got his first dose. Both have seen the ravages of coronavirus on patients young and old. I don't want to be on a ventilator. I don't want to not be able to hold my wife's hand, see my children and my grandchildren. So I think it's very serious. This is not a joke. Why is it important for you to be on television communicating it's necessary to get this vaccine? I want to lead by example. It's very important from the patient populations that we see to send a positive message that this is safe. One reason she's posted about her journey on social media, including her very mild arm soreness side effect. She hopes her vaccination message reaches blacks and Hispanics in particular. That's because data shows the virus has disproportionately affected those populations. And in spreading the word together, both doctors know they're speaking to folks who might not trust the vaccination campaign, a mistrust rooted in history. So I can certainly understand the reluctance of people to get this vaccination, particularly people of color. But because of the Tuskegee Project. Because of the Tuskegee Project. That was a study that started in 1932. It looked at how the disease syphilis progressed in black men in Alabama. It ran for decades until a whistleblower revealed researchers offered no care, even when treatments were available, as the men enrolled in the study suffered extreme health problems, even death. But times and patient protection standards have changed. On that front, the Bowers understand when it comes to coronavirus vaccine education, their word means something. I think with the minority community in particular, it takes a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations. Mm -hmm. So you can have those conversations to try and talk to, um, you know, really explain in depth the history, where we are today, that it's, it's trusted and then they can then get the vaccine and spread that message along. Number one, trust the science. Number two, ensure that you will be around for your kids, your grandkids. One other point, Dr. Jamel Bowers told me when she was part of the vaccine trial, she learned researchers laid the groundwork for the coronavirus vaccine several years ago with SARS modifying and adapting their research to create a vaccine for COVID-19. She says it's an important fact to share with people who believe it came along too quickly.